Hello students once again welcome to English Literature Classroom. Today I am going to teach Real English 8. The name of the chapter is A Lesson in Life from a Beggar. Come on, let's start. Look, what the author is studying. Do we appreciate things in life as often as we criticize them? When we complain about our difficulties, do we care about how others live? Who could tell us whether our, whether our perceptions opinion and belief about the world and its people are right or wrong. Some little incidents in life really can teach us that important lessons as Meena in Sudha Murthy's story learned. Okay. Now in this story we are going to study about Meena. Okay. Now let's see what is the question. What was strange about Meena? You know the strange about Meena was that she was forever unhappy. Now let's start the story. Okay. Meena is a good friend of mine. She is an LIC officer. Okay. Meena is a good friend of the narrator. She is an LIC officer earning a good salary. But there was something strange about her. She was forever unhappy. Whenever I met her, I would start to feel depressed. It was as though her gloom and psychinism. Psychinism means the belief that nothing good will happen. Okay. Now it was as though Meena's gloom and psychinism had a way of spreading to others. She never had anything positive to say. Never. Okay. She never used to say anything positive on any subject or about any person. For instance, I might say to her, Meena, did you know Rakesh has come first in his class, his school? Meena's immediate reaction would be to belittle the achievement. Belittle means make something seem unimportant. Naturally, his father is a school teacher, she would say. Okay. It was Meena's reply. If I said Meena, Shweta is very beautiful girl, isn't she? She would be pessimistic. Pessimistic means again negative feeling. When a pony is young, he looks handsome. It's age that matters. Wait for some time. Shweta will be uglier than anyone that you know. Come on, let's see the question. Where did Meena's parents live? Meena's parents lived in Delhi. Let's continue. Meena, it's a beautiful day. Let's go for a walk. No, the sun is too hot. Okay, Meena used to reply. No, the sun is too hot and I get tired if I work too much. Besides, who says working is good for health? There is no proof. Look, every reply, from every reply you can understand that Meena never used to say anything positive. Always negative. That was Meena. Okay, she stayed alone in an apartment in Bangalore. Okay, where did she stay? In an apartment in Bangalore. As her parents lived in Delhi. And where did her parents live? In Delhi. She was only child and had the habit of complaining about anything and everything. Okay, what was Meena's habit? To complain about anything and everything. Naturally, she was not very pleasant company and nobody wanted to visit her. Okay, as she was not a pleasant company, nobody wanted to visit her. Then one day, Meena was transferred to Bombay and soon we all forgot about her. Okay, one day Meena was transferred to Bombay and everyone forgot about her. Clear? Let's see the question. Where did Meena stay? Meena stayed at an apartment in Bangalore. Let's continue. Okay. Many years later, I found myself caught in the rain at Bombay's Flora Fountain. Okay. Many years later, the Nata found herself caught in the rain at Bombay's Flora Mountain. It was pouring and I did not have an umbrella. Okay. The narrator did not have an umbrella. I was standing near a popular department store. Okay. And where was the narrator standing? Near a popular department store waiting for the rain to subside. Narrator was waiting for the rain to stop. Suddenly, I spotted Meena. Suddenly, the narrator saw Meena. My first reaction was to avoid being seen by her. Narrator wanted to avoid her. Okay. Because Meena always had never ending complaints and narrator did not like it. Okay. However, she had already seen me. Okay. But Meena had already seen the narrator and caught hold of my hand cheerfully and said, Hey, I'm really excited. It's nice to meet her old friend. Why are you, what are you doing here? Okay. Look, Meena is telling, what are you do, doing here? Let's see the question. What was Meena's habit? Meena's habit was to complain about anything and everything. Okay. I explained that I was in Bombay on official work. Okay. Now, the... Not the narrator, Meena. Meena told that I was, explained that I was in Bombay. No, sorry, not Meena. It's the narrator telling. Okay, I explained that I was in Bombay on official work. Then stay with me tonight, she said. Meena is telling to stay with her. Let's chat. Do you know that old wine, old friends and memories are precious and rare? Look what Meena is replying now. Old wine, old friends and memories are precious and rare. I could not believe it. Narrator could not believe it. Okay, because Meena was not like that. She Okay, she always used to talk ne negative. First time she is telling something good. Was this really Meena? 
Now Nata started thinking, was this really Meena? I pinched myself hard. Nata pinched herself hard to be sure that it was not a dream. But Meena was really standing there right in front of me. Meena was really standing there. It was not a dream. Squeezing my hand, smiling and yes, she did look happy. But now, you know, Meena was looking happy. In the three years she had been in Bangalore, I had never once seen her smiling like that. Now, three years in Bangalore, Nata has never seen Meena smiling like that. Today, Meena is smiling. Okay, let's see the question. Why did anybody not want to visit Meena? Answer, nobody wanted to visit Meena because she was not very pleasant company. Let's continue. Okay, a few strands of grey. Few strands of grey in her hair reminded me that years have passed. Okay, now few grey hairs reminded that years have passed. There were few wrinkles on her face. Okay, because Meena has grown old. Okay, but the truth is that she looked more attractive. Though she has grown old, but she looked attractive. Okay, than before. Finally, I managed to say, No, Meena, I cannot stay with you tonight. I have to attend a dinner. Okay, finally, the narrator said that no, she could not be able to stay that night because she had to attend for a dinner. Give me your card and I will keep in touch with you. I promise. Okay. For a moment, Meena looked disappointed. Okay, when narrator said all these things, Meena felt little disappointed. Let's go and have tea at last, she insisted. But Meena, it's boring. Okay, now I have not completed the story. This I will complete in my next video. Okay, let's see the question. Why did narrator want to avoid Meena? Answer, narrator wanted to avoid Meena. Because look, avoid. Okay, it's printing mistake. S is type instead of A. A, V, O, I, D. It's typing mistake. Just ignore. Clear? Narrator wanted to avoid Meena because of her never-ending complaints. Okay, up to this much. With this, I am concluding this video. In my next video, I am going to bring something new. Until then, goodbye.